Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel and in today's video we are going to be learning about how you can leverage your browser caching using uh, in your WordPress site. So basically there are a number of ways with which you can speed up your WordPress site and when your WordPress site is not as much fast, browser caching is more is one of the most common issues for that so what you can do is you can leverage browser caching in your wordpress site and essentially it's going to speed up your wordpress site so in this video we are going to be learning about how you can do that using a manual way and by using plugins so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video okay guys now to leverage browser caching in your wordpress site first of all you need you can do it with two ways number one is by using uh, cyber panel which is the manual way and number two is using plugins so today i'm going to show you both so first of all let's check out the manual way so what you have to do is you have to log into your cyber panel account from here go into wordpress from the left hand side menu and click on list wordpress you will be redirected to this site now over here you will be able to see all the wordpress sites that you have currently deployed you can select your wordpress site title from here click on that and you will be moved into the wordpress manager for that particular site now this is a brand new feature it is amazing and it has a lot of features just on one manager so from here you can access your file manager click on that and your file manager will open up now in your file manager it is duly noted that your htaccess rules can, are only supported with light speed enterprise and not supported with um, open light speed so please note that next is you need to access your .htaccess file right click on it and click on edit with code mirror and once you open it what you need to do is so i already have a couple of rewrite rules so what i have to do is go at the very end of it and now we need to enter three uh, blocks of code so number one is to customize expire uh, expires cache so for that copy this code and paste it over here next is we need to add a block of code which is to uh, basically cache control the headers so let's copy that as well and paste it here lastly we need a block of code which is for uh, e tag copy that and just paste it over here and once you have added all these three blocks of code just scroll up and click on save changes this is going to leverage your browser caching in wordpress this is the manual way to do it okay so now let's check out the uh, how you can do the same thing but uh, by using plugins of course if you are not comfortable with manipulating these root files it is always a great practice to try to do the same thing by using a plugin so that you won't be able to touch the codes since everybody knows that even a slight change in the code can cause catastrophic disasters uh, with your whole website so it's uh, if you're not comfortable with manipulating the code you can always use the plugin so today we are going to use two uh, plugins number one w3 total cache and number two the light speed cache which is installed in cyber panel by default so first of all go into your wordpress site dashboard from here go into plugins and click on add new so we are going to add a new plugin over here okay now here search for w3 total cache So this is the one we want by goal, uh, bold grade. Just simply click on install now. Once it is installed, we are going to activate it. So it is installed, click on activate. And once you activate your plugin, it's just gonna take a couple of seconds.
Okay, so once this is activated, you will be able to see a performance tab on the left hand side menus right over here. So this performance tab will be uh, will appear once your W3 Total Cache plugin is activated. So now let's uh, leverage our browser caching using this plugin. So just simply go over here and click on General Settings. Okay, now once you come over here, I'm just going to skip this quickly. <coughs> Let me just go back into the general settings again. So that was basically a tour of the whole plugin if you want that. So just go into your general settings, scroll down to browser uh, caching, uh, browser cache, and make sure that this is enabled. If this is not enabled, you need to enable it. And once you do that, click on save all changes. Next step is to go back into the performance tab. And this time, instead of general settings, we'll go into browser cache. Scroll down and make sure that set expires header, set cache control header and set entity tag. These three are enabled. So you essentially what we are doing is by enabling these three options, we are just automatically adding those pieces of code in the back end. You don't have to worry about it. It is done by it is being done by the plugin. So once you have enabled all three, scroll down and click on save all settings and it is going to leverage browser caching in WordPress for you. Okay, so the third way is by using a plugin. This time we are going to use Lightspeed Cache. Now with CyberPanel, you are going to get Lightspeed Cache by default. It's a very versatile plugin. It has a lot of features and this time we're going to use it to leverage browser caching. So you are going to find Lightspeed Cache in the left hand side menu of your WordPress dashboard. Once you go over here, click on Cache. So I'm not going to save the changes from the previous one since I still have to show you this. Okay, so once you come over here, click on browser from all of these settings, you have to click on browser. From here, scroll down and you will be able to find, give it a second, Mm -hmm. Enable cache. Okay, so we are going to make sure that this is turned on. Uh, sorry, in browser, we need to turn, uh, go into browser and make sure that our browser cache is turned on. So by turning this little bit on, we are again. It is just like that. We are enabling all these three options in the W3 Total Cache or in the manual way. We were adding those three piece of code. It is all being done by just one um, switch of the toggle. So by you, when you just turn this on, it's going to leverage browser caching for you, for your WordPress site and click on save changes. And essentially it's going to do the same thing as that of the manual way and as that of W3 total cache. So that's it for today. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe CyberPanel.